long chain triglycerides. Triglycerides are fat. They're short chain chain triglycerides. And then there are medium chain triglycerides. Your medium chain triglycerides, they come from plants. Hey, they're great when they're in a plant. But just like other kinds of fats, when you isolate them, in other words, you strip them out of the plant and you leave by, behind the fiber, the protein, the carbohydrates, the vitamins, the minerals, the phytochemicals, and you're, you're just dealing with a capsule or a tablespoon full of fat, you're dealing with something that's unnatural. It's isolated and concentrated, and it's gonna have positive effects and negative effects. At the very least, medium chain triglycerides, you know, medium chain, medium sized fats, medium chain triglycerides are gonna be worn. The fat you eat is the fat you wear. And I'd have to look up the different tolerances and adverse effects and positive effects that are claimed these days by medium chain triglycerides. But I assure you, they're minimal at best. And you're gonna get the toxic part of these isolated concentrated fats along with any positive effects that you plan on getting. I don't recommend it. I recommend you eat a starch-based diet which has all the medium chain fats that you ever need in the proper proportion is safely delivered. Corn and rice and potatoes and wheat and oats and et cetera. That, that's why you need to get your medium chain fatty acids. And they'll never be toxic and they'll always possibly help you. Why? Because, hey, nature's been designing these things for hundreds of millions of years. Yeah, and working it out in the human being for maybe a, a couple million years. So it's time tested. The food is time tested. Don't get into these supplements. Don't waste your money. And you're going to get some adverse effects for any positive effect you get. I'm Dr. John McDougall. That's what I think of medium chain triglycerides. 